Welcome to your bi-weekly masculine report. Let's see what these guys are up to in November. First couple of weeks of November. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. Well, right off the bat, we have a message about how He's worried you're going to leave him out in the cold. He regrets the way that maybe he's treated, he or she have, has treated you. So let's get some more information on this. So do, 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 do. here we go. Pull some, some of these. Love, deep affection, and caring. Period of prosperity and abundance. An arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. He wishes he wouldn't have been acting like that because he does love you. And he does realize now that you're the key to his abundant life up ahead. You're his land of milk and honey. And uh, he, he treated you like a boastful, arrogant, proud person who doesn't love you or whatever, whatever they did, <laughs> whatever they did. Um, tell us more about the arrogance and the pride that kept him from him or her from sharing their feelings or about the situation. Huh. This involved a difficult, difficult times that were purposely intended by nefarious people. Wow. So it was for control and power. It was not by accident. It involved ill intentions. So maybe somebody purposely kept you guys apart. Wow, by maybe fee feeding this person's ego, saying you deserve better than that. You know, they're probably trying to trick you. You know, they were basically, oh, this situation it could involve or did involve an illusion of a false sense of security to make sure. So make sure your faith is in the right things and that you stay informed so that you don't get duped. Looks like he may have been gotten duped and manipulated by somebody who. So, oh, you stay over here. You're going to be safe and secure. You go over there and there's going to be danger. Uh, you don't want to get yourself in that situation and be with that person. Very interesting. Okay, so. Okay, I need more information on that one. Huh. Interesting. Oh, wow. Wow. So, okay, something about something being dead and buried. Uh, oh, wow, this is so weird. Something being dead and buried years ago that should have been dead and buried years ago that took a while, that took a while to resolve. Somebody who was playing games with your masculine's head and he knew it, he or she knew it. Wow. And they were, and they were right. They were right. But now they know the best is yet to come. So they want to go forward fearlessly and full of hope. The universe says they will not be sorry. It's time for them to assert themselves powerfully and embrace their full potential. They are guaranteed a positive outcome. Okay. So being that the masculine was in such a, um, a place of worry or whatnot, Stepping into a new experience. He's stepping out of that into something new. He's going he's gonna to take that leap of faith, take a step in the right direction. There will be discord amongst family or friends, possibly gossip and things like that, um, trying to get in the way. But he's hopefully going to be unstoppable. Affairs with your family. They're going to be trying to mess with your family. They're going to, it's like, I just feel like desperate attempts. There will be a successful outcome to these problems, though. If you use wisdom, I just saw my owl back there. So your masculine is, looks like he's going to get tested a little bit. Um, okay. They may have to close the door on, um, on a business that they're in or their line of work and pursue an opportunity that's been waiting for them. Slowly but surely, they've been getting ahead. They've been facing dangerous, um, dangerous situations regarding money, perhaps, where they've had to like navigate carefully. Oh my God, I was just gonna say navigate carefully 
avoiding sharks and look what popped up. I'm not even kidding. And there's like a million cards. There's so many cards. Take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. Dang, guys. Can you believe that? Wow. So they've had to be careful. They've had to be really careful how they, how they go about things. Recognition reward for merit is going to come from this. You guys are going to get some kind of recognition for having gotten through all of this. Chains of, a chain of events that will affect your life. Deep friendship and someone of the same, someone of the same sex. So maybe a good friend steps in and helps things start to get rolling, helps things st start to get unstuck. That, there's confirmation. She has no reason to be meowing right now. <laughs> so this is going to, this situation, this, uh, this romance you guys have is a past life relationship that is guaranteed to work. Once you guys have healed family issues that needed healing, and then you can go forward and have those heart to heart conversations. So, and then finances and career, maybe it's in regards to children, someone trying to take your money for children, but give the relationship a chance, give this new love, a new chance, masculines, go to that next level. It'll be, you have been worth waiting for that because this could be the one and you know that you deserve love now. So make that effort. Okay. Um, dun, dun, dun. Um, 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 I feel like, what else do we need to know about these masculines at this time? Oh, they want to make love to you, my dear. Okay. So can we get some, tell us, tell us where the masculines are at, like at a soul level, like what are they working on or what, what, what do they need to know? What do the masculines need to know? Or what are they working on right now that the feminines can be aware of? If you guys don't understand what I'm talking about and the, the terminologies I'm using, go to my playlist, All About True Love, and you'll, you'll, re, you'll find out about it there. Okay, pleasure. He's into pleasure. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Miracles, openness, and they want their pleasure. Okay, um, meadows are usually open, sunny places where flora and fauna thrive and flourish. They are heavens as the trees follow, surround the meadows, often protect, offer protection and shade for the grassy area. Traditionally, they're associated with openness, gentle calm, and relaxation. They're places where the weary traveler can stop and restore to re rest and restore. A meadow is a place where people, as well as animals, gather to enjoy the simple pleasures of life. Savor your life, each and every part of it. Take pleasure in slowing down and experiencing, experiencing each of your senses. Taste your food with full gusto. Inhale the scents of the world around you. Enjoy the colors and textures of your life. This is truly a stop and smell the roses card. Embrace your sensuality. Move in a tan, a, a, what is it? Languid way. Move in a languid way. Let pleasure be your password into every intimate part of your life and allow your life to be less about being productive and more about enjoying every moment. And verve. What do they got to use words like that for? Verve. Come on. <laughs> and the radiant energy will flow through you in all directions of your life. So I feel like the masculines are finally starting to not be such workaholics. They're really, you know, loosening their grip on things and starting to find the, the simple pleasures, more of the simple pleasures. Um, and it, it brings me to maybe some love bombs. What are some of these simple pleasures that they are thinking about their feminines? And maybe they really are looking forward to, I love your cooking. <laughs> maybe they're thinking about, you know, they're reminiscing about you guys cooking together or they're looking forward to you guys cooking together or imagining that. Um, what was I going to say? Something about how, um, yeah, I don't, I don't remember. It'll jump back in if it needs to. <laughs> oh, they want to, um, I feel like intimacy, sexual intimacy, um, having that being, being very much in the moment with you and you guys can go to make love 
I think they're imagining what that's going to be like. And they're also um, very much looking forward to that experience with you. Your sense of humor makes life more fun. <laughs> so maybe you make them laugh or the memories of you make them laugh. I admire your strength. I'm impressed with your kids' manners. It says a lot about you. Um, if you'd like help, let me know what I can do for you. You are one of the most helpful people I know. <laughs> so maybe you've helped them a lot in a lot of areas of their life or in certain particular areas or helped them have some kind of breakthroughs in their life. So they want to they wanna pay you back by giving back to you. Your child has excellent manners. Great job. If you don't have any children, then it could mean that they feel like you would be a really good parent that would, you know, help their child um, to grow up to be more like you or something. I admire your enthusiasm for life. They just said it's contagious. You are, you have a way of bringing people together. Your laughter is contagious. Your encouragement has made me stronger. Okay, so there's lots he loves about you. He or she loves about you. Okay, what else do we need to know about these masculines at this time? The beginning of November, please. Follow through on that divinely guided or divinely guided and inspired idea you've had. It's brilliant and sure to succeed. They have some kind of great idea they, they want to and need to go forward on. Blessings, the blessings card. <laughs> they know great blessings are to come. And I just saw angel wings on the wings of angels. They just said, is there a song about that? Someone's sending cryptic messages that you might be missing. Look harder for these messages and try to decode them. So they might be sending you some kind of messages, some kind of song and dance and social media or something that you should pay attention to. This did or will require great courage, bravery, determination, and persistence. Someone is pushing through their fear for a good cause. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh. There are or were many differing opinions and weigh-ins on this matter that have held it off, but things are getting unstuck, and there is a consensus being reached. Justice will occur. So don't you worry. He is going to break through those worries. You will be taken care of in difficult times. Your masculine is going to pull through for you. Fire, strong emotion, passion. <laughs> wow, well, you better brace yourself. Bull, don't back down from opposition. Show strength and fortitude, masculines. If this is you and you're thinking of pouncing on this, finally then don't let anything get in your way. Don't let anything get in your way. I don't care if, God, you know, that gossip comes up and all kinds of stuff. Just fight, fight. Beware of self-delusion. Period of frustration, lessons to be learned. I feel like, okay, um, period of frustration, lessons to be learned. Beware of self, Okay. This is, I feel like a past energy that they've been moving out of. Can I get confirmation of that, please? Yeah, they were, they were not feeling worthy for a long time. They really put, had put you up on a pedestal and it made them frustrated. And they had to learn this lesson of self-delusion that they were basically believing some beliefs they've been taught from a long time ago that it's, it's like time to let go. Someone will gossip about, gossip about all your secrets. So this is just a little heads up. And so what if they do? You know, so what if they do? Forces working against you. But that someone is leaving your life. Thank God. These are these are some crazy times right now, you guys. Oh, romance is in the air, though. That romance is going to win. Am I right, spirit? Is romance and love going to win no matter what kind of obstacles and gossip get thrown in these lovers' way? Will love win? All right. <laughs> well, they do have to leave you a message. They do have to call or text or something, have this thing pulled together. They are leaving. 
the bad situations and toxic situations for a true love journey. There's two cups missing. They're going to go after. And yes, they're going to communicate. And yes, it will bring healing and happiness and joy. So, and yes, they're going to get up the courage, even though they feel like a little kid and they don't quite know what to say, they're going to get up the courage. So they're going to do it, guys. True love is going to win. Anything else you want to say, spirit? Okay. Spiritual or religious community. Socialize or join in with people who support you guys. I feel like you guys are just going to need to to have your own people that you can trust around you and surround you. Only go to those that you trust that are of like mind about your connection when you're about to take action is what I feel. Nobody nefarious, they said. Nobody that you that you even wonder a little bit about. <gasps> wow, the devil. Do not trust the devil. Instead, go forward with passion into this new start. Rekindle the rapport and trust you once had with that person. Quit the spying. Have the courage. And do not procrastinate any longer. You will, you will not be sorry. You are going to go right into that new beginning. You just have to make that judgment call to choose your true love and set down any burdens. Just be the grounded, mature person that you know you can be, the awakened person that you now are. And go express yourself to this person and heal the person, your situation. Be vulnerable and authentic. Always speak your truth. Number one, the most important thing. And they will match you at that level as the king and the queen of cups. And they will share their feelings as well. And you guys are going to be able to heal this. Maybe get naked because that's the second naked card. <laughs> You're going to, maybe you're going to heal things by getting naked. Who knows? <laughs> you're going to be authentic and you're going to start a whole new cycle. So you got to overcome the secrets. You got to, you got to just say it like it is guys. You got to, just like in our world, they just got to say it like it is rip the bandaid off. And that's going to lead to a fulfilled family, a happy family. Okay. All right. I hope this helps and puts things a little bit more in perspective. Um, I, yeah, I want a message for the feminines, the feminines who are watching this, what spirit do you want to say to them? You are not alone. Oh, dearest you, there are times you get lost, but refuse to see your part in things happens to everyone. Something feels familiar, but a little bit off. If you're feeling confused, it's best to throw away um, that map that you're using, which only lets you navigate based on your past experiences. That isn't what you need right now. Instead, take a deep breath and open to the truth. A desire to stay in denial means that part of you doesn't want to be responsible for the pattern that's shown up in your life. Yes, this is the right time to wake up and start again. By the way, you will always get another chance. You have unlimited chances to start again. We love you so much. We really do. Be gentle with yourself. Coming out of denial is like being temporarily blinded by super bright lights. Allow your eyes to adjust. Carry on. Special one. A beautiful life awaits. So I feel like this was actually a message for the masculines, but the message itself on the front was for the feminines. You are not alone. And a beautiful life does await you and your masculine is coming out of denial and he is going to embrace the truth now. But also I feel like sometimes when we hear the truth, you know, maybe some of the secrets the masculine is going to reveal are going to be really tough to digest or hard to believe. But, um, you know, if you want to build that trust, you got to, you got to see with new eyes, you know, you have to be willing to see those hard truths. So just be aware of that and have an open heart and, you know, listen, listen with those new eyes, see with those new eyes, listen with those new ears and, uh, and try to heal it. You are protected. I just saw protection. Let me read them the message with that protection. I'm going to say a prayer for you guys too in a second here. Protection. One of the most potent signs on the sacred landscape is the ancient oak. It carries numerous meanings. You are protected. You can weather anything. 
Your roots go deep. You are brave and you can survive anything. Stand strong. You carry the energy of a leader and you have great authority in life. Great wisdom is expanding within you and others sense this. This card can also mean to protect your assets. Take care to guard and protect your home, your loved ones, and yourself. Okay, so I feel like this is pertaining to both of you as you go forward into this brave new journey. All right, and let me say a prayer for that, for all of it, to support both of you in, in, this, uh, in this new life you're going to be creating. <laughs> This is just so cute. And look at, well, it's kind of a mess over there. <laughs> I got Annie laying on the pillow next to me, though. I was in kind of a storm earlier of, of activity. So there's stuff strung, strung all over the place right next to me. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't want to wake you up, honey. Oh, you're so sweet. So sweet. Okay. <laughs> so drop your shoulders. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Chinche se se na tai ke en hopo ma ha la ki na ta tai san se so what i just saw was almost like a parting of the seas you know like your masculine is going to be just set himself and say this is i'm setting my course here i am going straight at it and when he does so with that determination and like nothing like unwavering faith He's going to go walk straight at you and the ocean is going to go like this. And I heard all that gossip and all that, blah, 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 all these threats and, rah, 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 and it all starts going. Rah, and it's like your masculine it puts a deaf ear to it and just keeps walking forward. And of course, when he gets to you is that blessings card. Like when he gets to you, he knows he's going to get his treasure and everything's going to start working out beautifully for both of you and both of your lives. So He's figuring that out. He's getting smart. He knows that, you know, he just needs to make it happen. He just needs to make it happen. Get to that finish line and you guys can do your celebrating and get to creating the life you guys want together. Okay, you guys have a beautiful next couple of weeks and I'll report back um, toward the middle of November. All right, have a good one. <laughs> Bye.